What is up guys, Julius here, and today I'll show you how to create this super awesome predator-like thermal look in After Effects. I'm just here in my After Effects. Today we're working on this beautiful clip of a young gentleman laughing. And yes, I chose this clip because it has a background which is very easy to remove. The first step to the tutorial is to double click the video to go into layer mode. Once you are into layer mode, you want to select the Roto Brush tool and just start outlining your object. And the After Effects Roto Brush algorithm will make it so that the mask you create will automatically follow your object. If the Roto Brush tool makes any mistakes, like it did in my case, then no problem. Just hold down Alt and use the Roto Brush tool to remove the parts you don't want included in your mask. Yep, that looks about all right. I'm just going to zoom in here and clean up the mask a little bit more. Let me speed that up for you. Yeah, I am happy with that. Now you just got to let the rotor brush tool do its thing. And as you can see, the mask actually follows your object without you having to keyframe. The next step is to go back into your composition and here you can see your outlined object. I am going to go into my rotor brush effect and go into Roto Brush Matte. I'm going to turn up the feather a little bit just to make the edges that much more smooth. I'm going to shift the edge a little bit down just to shrink in the mask. I am very happy with that. Next thing you want to do is Control C and then Control V to copy your video. Open your lowest layer and then delete the Roto Brush effect. Next, you want to go into Effects and Presets and search for an effect called Colorama and apply that to your top clip. This effect has a bunch of settings and presets, but for today's tutorial we'll just be going with the standard look because that resembles Thermal pretty well in my opinion. I may be going to change the face shift just a little bit. All right, so far so good. Now you want to search for an effect called color balance and apply that to your lowermost clip and just choke out all the reds and all the greens. So it just left with the blue background because that is the usual visual of a thermal camera. All right, nice, we're getting there. We're getting a somewhat thermal look, but we can do better. So what I'm doing now is an optional step, but it's just copying my topmost clip, the thermal clip, so I have three layers. Then to my middle clip, I apply an effect called CC Radial Fast Blur, just to give it even more like that thermal look, like the object is releasing heat. You can play around with the effects how you want though, there are no mistakes. Alright, it looks really good now. So the last thing I'm going to do is just play around with the background a little bit. I'm going to add an effect called Brightness and Contrast and just turn down the brightness a little bit to give it that much more of a colder look and the contrast between the cold background and the, the warm foreground. And at last, I am applying an effect called Vignette just to darken the edges of the downmost layer a little bit. And yeah, I'm happy with that. Take a look, guys. Guys, seems like we're at the end of the road. This was all I had for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see any specific tutorials and please subscribe if I helped you. I know it is very cliche to say, but honestly, it is very motivating when people subscribe. Tomorrow, there'll be a new tutorial as always. Bye guys.